In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to use local storage with JavaScript. So there are a few different ways that you can store information in a user's browser, with cookies, local storage and IndexedDB being the three main ways. In this tutorial, we're going to focus on the second method, local storage, and I'll show you how to set data in the local storage and also retrieve it on a subsequent reload of the page. So to save something into local storage, we simply call the setItem function that's available on the local storage object. And as you can see from the function signature, it requires a key and a value, very much in the same way that a normal JavaScript object would have. So we can examine the local storage object, and you can see at first glance, it looks very much like a JavaScript object with the key and value that we just set. But to retrieve the item, we actually need to use the getItem function. Alternatively, some browsers will allow you to access the property names directly. But it's probably safer for browser compatibility to use the getItem function as that's standard across most modern browsers. You can also inspect the contents of local storage from your developer tools. In the application tab in Chrome, if you go and expand the local storage section, for the current site that you're working on, you'll see all of the key value pairs that you've set in local storage. So can you store any type of data within local storage? Well, it is possible to store arrays and objects and other complex types of data within your local storage key value pairs, but there is a bit of extra work to do with them. For example, if we try and store an object inside of local storage directly, when we try and retrieve the value that's stored under the key of object, you can see we actually get the string of object object come back, and that's because local storage only accepts strings, and when we've tried to put the object inside of local storage, JavaScript has automatically converted our object to its string equivalent which as you can see is just object object. So obviously this is no good if we want to store the value of the object and then retrieve it later to do something with it. But what we can do is convert the object to a JSON string and then store that inside our local storage instead. Now when we retrieve our object key from local storage, we get the actual object come back as a JSON string. And if we wanted to use this again in our code, we just need to use the json.parse function to convert it back into an object. So the same thing goes for arrays or other complex types of data that you might want to store within local storage. Just remember that local storage will only accept strings, so you need to do some kind of conversion, both when saving the data in local storage and retrieving it, in order to preserve the data structure for use in your code. So you have just a simple overview of how to use local storage with your JavaScript code.